Hi Aries, welcome to your tarot reading for the week from October 9th through the 16th. It's raining here. So this is the first round of videos that I've ever done for the week. Not, I don't, I don't know if I'll do them every week because I got, you know, I like variety. And um, I'm using the Rider Waite deck here, and I actually had to start over. That's why you see the cards. Uh, you miss me speculating about whether men have anything underneath their kilts, and the reason that I got off on that track was I was talking about the plaid on the back of the, these cards. That's the way my mind works. So, anyway, um, it's a simple spread past, present, future. It's supposed to be for one week, but let's agree on an alternate reality um, where we can make that flexible. Just look at it thematically and see if some of this makes sense to you in terms of your life. I think that's the best way to do this. And I'm doing it in pairs. I'm reading these cards in pairs, which is kind of fun for me because they're both... A, each pair deals with um, a different uh, time frame. This is the past position. The world card and the five of swords. So the world card is closing a chapter on something in your life. Uh, hey, it doesn't get much more apropos. I mean, you just had a full moon. Hello, Aries. So you have had some kind of ending. Maybe it hasn't seemed like it, but um, the, it might be a little bit of a turning point. I really felt that full moon, man. I mean, that was, because that's in my 12th house, so it's like, God, all this, like, stuff, it's like, so I don't know how it felt for you, but you may have noticed something shift in your life. Uh, maybe it wasn't on that date. Maybe it was before, because I was feeling it before, and I was like, what the heck? And then I realized it was coming in, in a few days. And along with this card, we have the Five of Swords. So this is a card, an empty victory. Sometimes it's like re realizing that <clears throat> somebody is slandering you. Sometimes it can just be verbal with the swords or it can just be in general that they are being dishonest. If it's a marriage, you know, um, what do you call it? Infidelity. And the world card is I'm done. I, it happened for the last time. I'm, I'm through. It's irrevocable. So maybe you tolerated somebody's bad beha behavior and they, they did it one time too many and now it that relationship is toast. And the same thing can apply to the workplace because if you notice, there are people in the background. So this could be more than one person who has kind of betrayed you in some sense and um, you don't trust these people anyway. <clears throat> and maybe, who knows, maybe you were trying to get a... a uh, what do you call it? Some kind of a promotion and you got thwarted from it. Maybe this isn't the first time and it's finally, you're like, I'm done. But that was the past position. Now we have these two. Let's look at these. Hangman. This card is connected to Neptune. But it's kind of like a card, uh, it's funny, I got two cards that I associate with that kind of retreat. With Aries, you're typically the kind of person who wants to push forward with things. And <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a little um, agreement about that. You like to push forward on things and you want things to happen according to your timetable. And when they can't, when it doesn't work that way, you may get very frustrated and you may double down. And this is when Aries is seen as a bully or just um, a pushy person. And in order to 
be effective, you have to be able to let go and let God. And that's what that card represents. And this is your current state. So you, you may have come to this decision on your own. Maybe you were trying to make a marriage work that just wouldn't work. And you're in your mind, you're done. But you may not want to take action yet for some reason. So you're laying low. You're, you're just hanging out, so to speak. And the Queen of Swords is becoming more rational and coolly logical. In other words, that fire that is very emotional and irrational is being replaced by like the steely, cold, well, no, it's not steely cold because the, it has the feminine principle of the queen. So it's not totally like, like the king of swords might be like a, a master uh, strategy kind of a guy. But with the queen, there is still that, it's not just head over heart. There still is heart, but it's tempered. It's not just you being your typical fiery self. So maybe you're just becoming more detached, and that's allowing you to think clear about the situation. And this can apply to any area of your life. I mean, your public life, your... I mean, your, your career or your private life. And um, the outcome is the Four of Swords, which is you may decide to get a separation if you're married and have time to yourself so you can reflect on the situation before you really go ahead. Um, if you are in, a, in the place to do so, you may even decide to take a trip where you can be alone. It's not like some cruise where you're just, you know, carousing, but maybe some place where you can either go to a private retreat or if you have a um, a home or somebody's home in, in some kind of a rural environment where you can stay and clear your head, you may be doing that. And then... Along with this, we have the Page of Swords, and this is about possible um, looking into what has been happening. You may find out some information that you that was not available before, and this could even be about a work situation, and you may realize that, that somebody was doing something they shouldn't have been doing, or it could be that you, you receive a message that gives you that information from somebody else, and then that allows you to make a decision. Now I'm going to pick the card from the bottom of the deck. Okay, another swords, you see. So there could be a lot of communication going on, and there even could be someone involved in all of this that's uh, an air sign. So it could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and this is the Knight of Swords. This could be a a lawyer. Um, a lot of times this card represents a lawyer. So you may be thinking of embarking on a lawsuit if um, your employer is was doing something that was illegal and giving somebody else a promotion um, that you were promised. Or, you know, divorce papers um, could be coming your way or that, you, that you're filing them, I should say. But uh, with swords, we're also talking about conflict and a lot of maybe back and forth talking, trying to hash out whatever's happening. Look how many swords we have here. We have one, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh. So if there's not somebody specifically that's connected with swords, um, that could definitely be just a lot of strife, a lot of conflict happening. Uh, by the way, the world card could also be traveling. So you may have come back from a trip only to find out that something had happened. And it's, it, may have, it may have been a shock to you. Um, you do have, whenever there's a, a full moon, you always have that seventh house in... Uh, Libra when there's a full moon in your sign so perhaps it had something to do with a partner and um, you've, you've had to decide what to do um, very quickly 
and I think that events will be kind of ratcheting up uh, in the near future and uh, after you take a little bit of a breather and um, yeah so that might be good so anyway I hope you enjoyed this and if you would like a private ring please click on the link below otherwise have a great week bye